next video in statistics and we're going to continue our video in finding the significant relationship between two variables so remember in our last video we have this one um over here and what we're going to do is we're going to translate this in jamovi um, which is in this part of my desktop and we're going to follow the same steps um i mean we're going to make use of the same problem and but 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 we're going to make use of the software application jamovi instead of excel so we have here again um just a recap um we will construct a scatter plot for the data shown below um which is for the car rental companies in the us and their annual revenue we're going to test also the significance of the correlation coefficient found in this example 10-4 which is already stated there and use your alpha which is zero point rather 0 0.05 yes so we're going to translate that in jamovi um, Jamovi is a software that we that we can use. It's a free software, so you can just download it in jamovi.com or that part, I forgot. Um, let's first um, change this data variable. We want to show the um, the the car rentals here. Cars, let's call that cars. Um, it will be continuous. And we want to put the, the variable B to the, the annual income. So let's call that the revenue. And that will be also continuous. Um, if you want, you can delete um, C already because we don't need that anymore unless you have a lot of data in you in your set. So we're going to delete this. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to transfer all the values of the cars here and the revenue. Well, copy this one and then paste it here. Hopefully we can do that. Yes, we can. So there you go. So we have the cars and the revenue here all the way from that from this um, problem going to translated to Jamovi. So let's let's play or let's start this. So we're going to go to the analysis tab in which we are already in. Um, by default, you will get here in data and then you'll get to click this analysis tab and then you'll click on regression. And you want to show the correlation matrix. So for the correlation matrix, um, the next steps will be um, here um you will be you will be um having the correlation matrix here um jamovi will ask you what do you want to show and um will answer that answer will answer the question by jamovi and then jamovi will 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 show us the results on this right side of of of, his, of the screen so we want to put the cars and the revenue uh, we want to compare both of them we're going to make use of person person r um you can use spearman if you want or kendall tau but um, since it's in terrible data, we're going to make you sue for Pearson. And um, there you go. You can see the p-value there. Okay, at one instance. So that's how easy uh, to how to use the gem movie. If you want, you can have some additional um, options here. Um, let's try this one correlation matrix. If you want, you can put the plot here. Okay loading okay and also for the additional options you can flag the significant relations it will put some some asterisk there you can see the um the asterisk over there so you can see that um this pearson r value which is um 0.982 is statistically significant even until the the, the alpha level 0.001 so it's it's very um it's 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 you can see that it's it's the, there's a significant um relationship very much and the level of of um correlation is very strong positively strong so um if you want you can have some additional outputs here but that's actually enough what you need to do is just to actually the, the, this this correlation matrix will just show you the scatter plot but we, so that's the one that we was asked um from us so here we go so note that um our p value is here it's it's less than 0 0.01 so therefore it's it's telling us that it is significant with it it has a significant relationship and then there you go you just follow the four steps then this is step two and then you, you pretty much you can you'll know already this the the rest of the steps from the excel example here step one two three four as you can see we what we can do here in jamovi is quite simple um, you can just watch and see the p-value on an instant rather than putting it all here in, in, in Excel. So that's the perks in using Jamovi. All right. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you'd like and also subscribe. See ya.